As the salmon migrate into the upper watershed areas, they encounter natural and man-made obstacles in their path. The upstream limit of salmon populations in the watershed's rivers and creeks is usually at dams or at natural waterfalls or rock slides in streams leading into the Sacramento River. The ability to jump is very important to salmon. Life in the ocean has taught the fish the need for speed, both in capturing prey and avoiding becoming the prey for other animals such as sharks, sea lions, and killer whales. In the river, the salmon use quick bursts of speed to leap the riffles and falls on their journey upstream. Chinook can jump at least six feet straight up and probably much higher given the right water conditions beneath the barrier. Many salmon will appear to raise their heads out of the water and look at the jump ahead. They usually take small jumps at first. If those fail, they increase the jump velocity and try again. Once one salmon is successful, others may follow in the same path. It is the design, not the height of an obstacle, regardless of whether it's natural or man-made, that determines if it is a barrier to salmon. This dam or weir at Coleman National Fish Hatchery is designed using two levels to prevent the fish from passing upstream, except through the adjacent fish ladder monitored by personnel from the hatchery. Some barriers, like Keswick Dam on the Sacramento River, are impassable and represent the end of the road for salmon in that stream. Many smaller streams have natural barriers, such as waterfalls, that also define the upstream limit of salmon populations in the watershed. After surmounting many obstacles and reaching their spawning areas, the salmon will hold in deeper pools and riffles to prepare for spawning. The holding period can last from a few weeks to as long as six months for some.